welcome back to Amethyst Adventures and to all who watch my sheet music and book page DIYs and know that that footage was corrupted, here is take number two. Oops, I did it again. So let's jump right into this first DIY. I've started off with 12 sheets of sheet music because I want one dozen roses. Then I use a paper plate as a template to cut out my circle. Once my circles are cut out, I spiral cut those circles in about a one inch or so. And then I begin the quilling process. And that is simply just taking the paper, starting at the very end and rolling it tightly until I get all the way till the other end. And you will notice as you get almost to the end, your paper will start to loosen and you don't have a tight roll. That is okay, because that end is what is gonna fan out and give you your rose shape. So just follow along with what I'm doing. I'm just gonna keep on rolling until I get all the way to the end. And then I'm gonna take that tail piece and hot glue that down to the rolled paper. And that's what's gonna fo form our rose. Quick and easy DIY. Now, because the plain paper was a little bit pale to me, I came back in with some watery brown paint and just dipped the edges to give them a little color. And then I used some folk art antique wax and rubbed that on my skewer because I want this to be a bouquet. Next, with the extra scraps of paper, I drew a leaf shape and then cut those out as well. And I dip those to give them that same coloring. Still not happy with the coloring. I wanted my pages to look old and worn. So I took a little yellow and brown paint and mixed them together. And then I dipped the entire rose into this mixture. And that is what gave me the antique look. Once everything was completely dried, I began to assemble. First, I glued my skewer to the back of my rose. Then I added the leaves. And you see I have a cylinder vase there, and that is what I'm going to stand my roses up in to make a beautiful paper rose bouquet. Now, it took me a little while to redo this video, but it was originally part of the open collaboration five under five DIY challenge hosted by my girl Missy over at Crafty Cove DIY Farm Charm Chic with Emily and their guest host this month, Krista's Crafty Life. Links to all of their channels as well as the playlist will be in my description box below. So let's move on to DIY number two. Here I'm creating a book page angel. And it's simply just folding the book. It's a repetitive motion. You're going to take each page. You're going to fold it down about halfway. And then you're going to take it and fold it down diagonal, diagonally all the way till the bottom. And I did this just so you can get an idea, it's about a 300 page book and I did about 190 pages. So about three quarters of the book. If you want to do the whole entire book, that's completely up to you. It will give you a much fuller look for your angel. So just keep folding until your book is complete. Let me give you this little tip though. This is something I learned while doing this project. You want to start folding one side of the book and then flip it over and start folding from the other side. Because what I notice is if you fold it all the way from one side, your pages will start to, I guess you could say, be a little wider. And I hope I'm explaining that well. So start on one side, flip it over, do the other side and work your way to the middle. 
That way, all of your folds are exactly the same size. I did have to go back in and refold some of my pages because they started to fan out a little bit wider than what I wanted. Now, once that was complete, I took that black piece of spindle and glued my angel to it as a stand. And in that bag of thrifted wood pieces, I had these little tops. And I'm not really sure what they're for, but I painted it black and I'm using it as a head. I also had on hand some little wood rings from the Dollar Tree. And those I am going to use as my halo. I glued a toothpick to it and then I'm going to glue that to the back of the head to use as a halo. I fan folded two pages of paper to create the wings and glued them to the back of my angel and there we are. This next DIY is very similar to the first. The only difference is I'm going to take that little tail piece and fold it under. And what that does is it makes it stand up on its own. So I'm going to do the book in this same manner, three quarters of the way. Again, those are about 300 page books and I did just about 200 pages and then cut off the rest. And there we have it, book page angel and book page Christmas tree. Now this next DIY is super quick and easy. I took about six pages of sheet music and trimmed off the white edge off of each one. And then I'm going to attach them side to side, lining up the sheet music so it looks like one continuous piece. Then I'm going to take those Dollar Tree doilies and cut off just the lace edge part and I'm going to use that lace edge to finish off my runner and this one I am in love with and I hope you love it too let me know what you think in those comments
Now you know your girl lives for a quick and easy DIY. And this next one is just that. I have a couple of Dollar Tree pillar candles and I cut strips of sheet music and then I'm going to dry brush the edges with a little black paint. I'm going to take those sheet music pieces and attach them to my candle using a little glue stick. And then I'm going to wrap them in some jute twine and put a cute little jute twine bow. And voila, there we have it. Farmhouse Christmas DIY sheet music candles. And last but not least, I am repurposing some Dollar Tree coasters that I already had on hand. You talk about quick and easy, honey, this is quick and easy. But the look is absolutely beautiful and complements my table so lovely. So once I remove the leather that I had used in another DIY, I'm applying a thin layer of Mod Podge laying my coaster down onto my sheet music sections and then I cut slits in the four corners to make them lay down nice and neatly. I fold the paper over and I reinforce the back with a little bit of hot glue and cut off any excess paper that I do not need. And voila! DIY number five, sheet music coasters. So hang on to your hat, honey. I'm going to show you how everything looks together in the reveal. Please make sure you stop by our host channels and show them some love and let them know that Amethyst sent you. And if you like today's DIYs, please be sure to give me a big thumbs up. It helps out so much. And consider joining the Amethyst Adventures family. It's free, it's quick, and honey, it's easy. Just go ahead and click on that red subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you will know when I upload a brand new video. Thank you so much for watching today and stay tuned for the reveal.